Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesome Lindsay channel. So I did a shoot at a pool and did a behind the scenes of it. I'll post it up here or in the description. And uh, I posted it also in a Facebook group. And then a lot of people started asking me about the light setup because what I was using that day was an AD200 Pro in a Westcott Rapid Box. So they started asking me about the light setup and kind of the measurements between the Fresnel head and the bare bulb head while shot inside the Westcott Rapid Box. So I did a few measurements. I'll post a link down below so you can check them out. So for the measurements, I just measured in this room. I set it up at, at one meter, which is 39 inches. I measured with this Siconic L478D light meter and I had the dome extended. It's not super scientific, but I thought I'd give you this information in case you wanted to measure your own and do some comparison. Most of the settings, there's maybe a stop and usually less than a stop. So in my measurements, I never found that there was more than a stop difference. So it's actually pretty close of a difference in lighting when you're between these two. But if you just need the extra power like I did on that day, because I was shooting direct sunlight, it was around 1 p.m. and I was shooting full power on the 8200 Pro, uh, having the extra bit of power from the Fresnel head was really helpful. But if you don't need all the power and you're not shooting in direct sunlight, I really recommend going with the bare bulb. It fills up the modifier in more of a spherical form, which I really like. The other question people had asked is about the hot spot in the modifier. So I took a few photos of the modifier itself with the bare bulb and with the Fresnel head. And the bare bulb definitely fills it up. It's a lot more even across the modifier. With the Fresnel head, uh, you can definitely see there's a hot spot in the center. But while I was shooting, all the photos looked really great. They looked really even and nice. All right, everyone, hopefully that answers some of your questions. If you do have more questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer those. And thanks everyone for watching.